afternoon. Well, it's a cold and dry day for many of us, but just across in France, there's been a lot of wet weather. Boulogne saw 37 millimetres falling in just 18 hours. And that cloud bringing that rain is still streaming up from Spain and Portugal. And that cloud is always fringing into the far south of the United Kingdom as well. It's all tied in with a weather front. That weather front is set to stay with us for the rest of today and tonight. But to the north of that we've got high pressure and it's this high pressure that's going to build and push that area of low pressure down across into the near continent. The high pressure stays with us right the way through the weekend and into next week. It's only by the middle part of next week that we begin to see the low pressure areas trying to come back in to the west. So by then we could see a change in the weather. But for the time being, it's going to be generally dry and crisp. Certainly overnight, we will see a return of frost, particularly across northern areas to start off with, but then down across southern areas as well during the weekend and into next week, it will turn very frosty. Out to the west, I think by the time we get through to Tuesday night, well then we will find it getting a little bit milder across northern Ireland and westernmost areas of the mainland of the United Kingdom. Well, at the moment, we've got the cloud in the south end, that weather front. The rain is gradually working its way northwards up into the southwest. It should be fairly light and patchy, I think, this afternoon, but we could still see some sleet and snow over Dartmoor in particular. Now, coupled with that, we've got gale force winds through the English Channel. In fact, winds have been gusting up to around 50 miles an hour across South Wales and southern England, and that will continue this afternoon, making it feel very cold. Further north, a generally dry and sunny picture, but more in the way of clouds, certainly down the east coast and in the northeast of Scotland. So temperatures today then around 3 to 6 degrees, but if you add in the effect of the northeasterly wind, it's feeling far colder than that. It's feeling more like minus 3 to minus 6 in the south, minus 1 to minus 4 in the north. Now during this evening and overnight, we keep that weather front in the southwest, then still giving some patchy rain, but gradually it should move away southwards by the end of the night. So temperatures tonight away from that cloudy area will be below freezing, around minus 3 to minus 4 in parts of Scotland, even lower over the snowfields, and I think generally around zero across many central areas of England and Wales. Into Friday, we start with a cloud and some patchy rain in the far south then, gradually drying up during the day. For most of us, a dry and a cold day. Temperatures around 3 to 5 degrees. That's all from me for now.